when it comes to the rare interventions of former Labour leaders, it's kind of nice to not be talking about bloodstained Blair for a change, but a proper rare intervention, this time from Gordon Brown. He's been looking at the cost of living crisis and has outlined what he'd be doing instead, which includes cancelling Rishi Sunak's preposterous updates in his wealth tax proposal, capping energy bills and reforming the benefit system. And I have to say, it's kind of refreshing to have a politician, albeit a former one, saying something worth saying right now. All soon I can trust bleat on a better tax cuts to help people out in their campaign. And when you've raised the tax threshold to take people out of paying tax completely, in many cases, the poorest workers, tax cuts are meaningless to them. Even for those paying tax, if you consider Truss's national insurance hike reversal, it'll save someone on 20,000 a year, just 93 quid, barely enough for a tank of fuel and an average sized car. It's nothing. Of course, whilst doing that, they've attacked those on benefits, despite 40% of universal credit claimants being in work. Attacking people for not working is what Tories have done for years. But they might be disabled. They might be carers for those disabled people. Who are these scumbags to judge? Of course, it's an argument framed to not give people the help they need. And with Brown identifying the fact people will go hungry, will go cold, with the threat to health and to life that comes with that, he's right to say he'd give people what they needed in order to live and saying he'll cap energy bills which would bring down inflation. It seems no matter how toothless off Jem are, the Tories won't stand up to them, but also shows their argument that they cannot interfere is a false one. They could put the burden on the suppliers, who would then pressure on the less easy target of who they buy from, rather than us, as Ofgem are allowing them to do. Brown would have called an emergency Cobra meeting over this crisis, but instead Johnson and his Chancellor Zahawi are both on holiday, as is the leader of the opposition right now, Keir Starmer. Instead of hammering the Tories for being absent, he's joined them. I was never really wowed by Gordon Brown back in the day. He never convinced me, but it shows how far our politics in our country has now fallen, but his is now the voice of common sense and reason.